Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into a resource guide template that can really help you in whatever you're looking for when it comes to compiling public directories or knowledge bases. This template is a simple one page resource guide template perfect for compiling public directories or knowledge bases without the need for visitors to create an account. Moreover, the template allows users to contribute to the directory by submitting resources themselves. Now, in order to take a preview of this, all you gotta do is go to softer.io slash templates and check this out, link in the description as well. Now, what do you wanna do? As you can see on this page, we have a myriad of different things to explore. So if we click explore right here, it showcases all of these different resources that we can go ahead and click on. As you can see, No Code Founders is something that we can click into and it has some more information within this resource. So thank you for that. And I can go through and take a look and filter all of these different resources by clicking on the different categories here, like with community, um, I actually can select one at a time. So for example, Webflow, uh, something like web app, softer, obviously, shout out us. A little workflow automation, like Typeform, Airtable and Zapier, internal tools, Airtable, Tatabase and Portify. All these different tools are amazing in their own unique ways. And if you're trying to learn about all this kind of stuff, this is where this resource guide template can really come into play. You'll see at the top that when I click this explore no code button, it sends me back down to the bottom. When I press contact us, it goes to the want to add a resource button. And what people can essentially do is they can add a resource by typing in the name of their resource, putting in the image, which essentially will add that cover image that you saw earlier, write a description, and then link to that resource and put a category. And all of that in its entirety will essentially add something like this. I'll have the thumbnail here, have the descriptions here, and then finally linking out to the website, it'll go here. So let's dive into the template on how we can actually create it. Just by pressing use template, then selecting our data source, continuing and pressing copy the base to your Airtable account or adding it to your Google Sheets, then following up with adding the base here and creating the application. You'll see that what we have here is a grid view of everything and then an approved view. So what this system does is it allows people to submit like all these different tests that have been implemented into that form that you saw. And in here, when I go to the application on the homepage, essentially when I click on this, it has the resource library by software as the base that we just created. It has the table that we just referenced and the default view is the approved view. So essentially it is filtering it out to just these different ones right here. So for example, if I were to remove no code, no problem, and I were to preview this, you'll notice that no code, no problem is not here anymore. But if I were to, in this, add it back, no code, no problem pops up, I can click within it, and then I can go to that website. Then I can check out the rest of the different stuff, and if I wanted to, go to the website. It's extremely easy, I haven't seen quite a more simple template. But also, if you'll notice here, there is the email capture option, which you'll notice that you just type your email and then there's an action here. What you can do is you can either have it add to MailChimp, add to MailerLite, Zapier, make or forward it to your email. So essentially send it to a automation software or send it to an email management and marketing management software or just forward it to your email address as well. And if you wanted to, Inside of the item detail here, um, you can adjust the different content that would be here. So all these different fields are completely adjustable from a formatting standpoint. You can adjust whether you wanna showcase any of these different buttons or not, or even add extra fields. And the same exact thing goes for the add resource form. If you do have more things that you want people to fill out about it, you can add a new field within Airtable. And then within here, all you gotta do is essentially add a field that matches that property type and then add it within here. And if you wanted to change the order, you totally could. And then you have the choice to set it as required or not. All of them by default are essentially required to keep everything cohesive. And then from there, once it's submitted, you go into the back end, 
mess around with it, make sure that it then goes through whatever process is needed in order for it to be approved. Check it off as approved and boom, you have one of the amazing resources that you want added to here. And it doesn't have to be for no code resources. There are a myriad of different options to choose from. Um, this is just a very simplistic example considering we are a no code platform. If you like this template and want to check out more templates that we do have here at Software, please check out more of our content on our YouTube channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and check out this video on how to improve your skills using software even more.